Hey guys, so today Chris is going to attempt to teach me stick shift on the wrecker. Wish me luck. Look who it is. Turbo came for his afternoon snack. Gus won't leave him alone. Come on, Turbo. Come on. The most annoying little brother ever, I know, Turbo. All right, let's go do some stick shift lessons. You ready to torture yourself trying to teach me? It's gonna be a lot of fun. Tell them what happened before when you tried to teach me. She freaked out and got really nervous and it did not go smooth. So on a scale of one to 10, how well do you think this is gonna go? A two. I mean, it's a tough <laughs> truck to drive. Didn't go too smooth in the Eclipse, which was very easy to drive. So we'll see how the 88 C30. Does. And why didn't it? Why didn't it go well in the Eclipse? Uh you just you know you were getting nervous and stuff. You was there stuff. anything else? Well, there was mosquitoes in there. An and infestation of mosquitoes. Some other things, but you know, <laughs> no mosquitoes in this truck. Let's go. Daddy doing Gus. Is he taking a leak? Oh, I don't know, but it might just kind of falling in this hole here. Yeah, it's uh seat needs some attention. Chris and I couldn't get the seat to go forward, so we had to stuff a bunch of stuff behind me so yes. that I could reach the floor here. And so parking brake off, just pull that one lever down there. Which I'm still having a little bit of a hard time, but okay. Yeah, but we'll, we'll just give it a go. She can print. All right. So you're going to go ahead and press the clutch in. Right? And put it in granny gear, so L. So over to the left and then up. Over to the left. Well, shake, shake it around real quick. You're in neutral. Okay, great. So all the way up. Yep, there you go. Now slow, you don't even need any gas. Slowly start releasing that clutch and, and don't snap off of it because it'll lurch forward. Okay. And get us rolling. Very nice. So that was good. You didn't stall us out. You felt that, that rub point there, right? All right, now yeah. stop the truck. Emergency stop. Uh... That's good. <laughs> Press the clutch in and the brake when you stop. All right, now what? Uh, Okay. You, just like you did, yep. Why, right. why is it vibrating? It's normal, it's fine. Because it, there's a hydro boost. You talking about the brake pedal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a hydro boost. It's probably needs replacing. Uh, all right, so get us going again. All right. Just so you guys all know, he did teach me a thing or two before. This is not my absolute first time learning stick, but I just never got very far with it. So we're trying again. Yeah, she's because she's pretty good right now. All right, so this time you're going to do the same thing but then you're gonna to try to shift into first gear. So get us get us going. So she's, she's bringing that clutch up till we get rolling, then she can take her foot off of it. 
course, when you shift, just go to the left here. A little smoother. We're in a bumpy parking lot. Yeah. Should my foot be on the gas? Yeah, get, go ahead and give it some gas. Feel, the, feel the, the throttle. Is that all you got? You can give a little bit more. There you go. See, it's a little sensitive, right? Okay. Alright, so one. now we'll go ahead and shift into the next gear. Into first. So just clutch. Clutch in, gas off. Beautiful. And let go of the clutch. Nice. Ah! That was good. You did perfect. So go ahead and bring the speed up a little bit and then shift in the second. Whenever you're ready. So I have to... <laughs> okay. We'll bring the speed up a little bit. Yep. Okay. Now clutch in and shift. I don't know where I'm shifting to. It's to problem. second. Oh, there's a car. Great. You're fine. They're not coming in. Just up. All right, now hold on. Ah, what do I do? Well, you're in neutral, so I come to a stop. Okay. I, I don't know. No, you did good. That was fine. That's how you stop. All right, so with the clutch in, here's here's where second is, baby. Look. There's no cars behind you. I'm, I'm watching. You're good. Second is not straight up. See, otherwise it, it wants to it wants to grind. So go. You got to go like here and up. That's that's second. See how there's a lot of slop in this thing. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and put that in second. Feel it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's. That's it. It, it didn't go because because you didn't put it in. But all right. Uh. That's just the brake thing. You're fine. So, all right, get us going again. This time you're gonna start in first gear, so you're gonna need a little bit more clutch work. Clutch in to the floor, yep, first gear. I, I honestly don't know what you want me to do right now. First gear, so over and down. Beautiful. All right, now uh, get get us going without stalling. Now you got to use a little bit of gas, a little bit of gas this time because we're in a different gear. So you got to work the gas and the clutch at the same time. Otherwise, the engine's going to stall out. There you go, beautiful, beautiful. Work the gas, a little bit more gas. Nice, that was beautiful. So you felt, I mean, when you're in granny gear, you can just kind of let off the clutch. It's a super low gear, so you'll be fine. Now bring the speed up and shift in the second when you're ready to. Sooner the better. Sooner the better. Like, right now. <laughs> All right, hold, there you go. Let go of the clutch. There you go. You're in second. All right, so it's not like a slapstick. You don't just, you don't just hit it. No, that was good. All right, feel the throttle now. Get comfortable with it. Go ahead. Feel the engine. Feel what it's doing. Woo. So you have a little bit more speed, right? Ah, I don't like how fast I'm going. Press the clutch in then. There you go. Now bring it back to first ah. with the clutch in. Bring it back to first. So down, over to left. Is it there? There it is. Let go of the clutch. Nice. You never want to like snap off the clutch, really, yeah. because if you're in the wrong gear or something, it might. Like, I'm gonna get so much movement. hate on this video. I know it. Hey, you're you're actually doing amazing. You're staying calm. You're uh, so. Let's see another second gear shift. All right, now shift. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, you're in. That's it. Nice. <laughs> uh, you can keep going straight back this way now. Let's go through these puddles. You're fine. It's gonna get a little bouncy. Gus is like, this is terrible. What are we doing? <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to do something and I expect you to do it now. Emergency stop. All right, beautiful. You press the clutch in. I have to admit, this brake pedal is really throwing me for a loop. It's very... Um... Put us in neutral. All right, how do you make sure you're in neutral? I don't know. I'm trying to do the thing you showed me before. Is yeah, that neutral? That's it. Yep. And, and shake it back and forth. You know you're in neutral. Here's a look at the, the ship pattern for everybody. All right, so you're, you're doing amazing. Uh, go ahead and throw it in, in reverse now. I want it, There's nobody behind you. I'm, I'm completely watching. She, she doesn't have a rear view on this. So. so go ahead, push the clutch in, put us in reverse. Okay, but can I talk about this vibration on this brake pedal? Because yeah. what does that mean and why is it doing it? Pull that pair of vice grips down there. <laughs> Pull it. Yeah, backwards, toward you. 
Just like, yep. On well, most vehicles, they have a brake booster that's vacuum actuated and it's, you don't feel anything. But this has the power steering pump is tied in. This is called a hydro boost. This is your brake master cylinder. And so what you're feeling is the hydraulic pressure in there. It probably needs a new booster, but it's, she's feeling a little pulsation in the pedal. And that, that's why. And now clutch in and reverse. To the right and down. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're not on a hill. Okay. Is that reverse? Yeah. Should be. You'll find out pretty soon. And now let's get us reversing back. Nobody's behind us. Can I release the clutch? Or? Once you're rolling, yep, just like you did. Once you're rolling, you're in gear, you're fine. The only time you gotta press the clutch Whoa. is in case you want to stop. We're rolling. Yeah, you're like, you're a total natural. So just keep bringing us all the way back, actually. Um, Turn us toward these piles. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, see how it wants to do that? So, you go ahead and let go of the clutch. Cycle it. Pu push it back down now. Push the clutch down. And now try to go into first. Or, or granny. There you go. See, it didn't grind that time. Uh -huh. So, uh, bring us toward these piles. We, I want to I see some clutch control on these piles. So, it's, it's okay. You can get us going first. Just don't forget to push the clutch in. It's not going to harm anything if you hit it. So I want you to get nice and close until you get those front tires or the bumper on the piles. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. Yeah, I want you to kiss the pile. You want me to run into it? Yes, but gently. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit more until you feel the front kind of rise. There you go. All right, nice. Now what I want you to do is demonstrate some some clutch control. Gus, you gonna go out for a walk? I think. He's like, I'm just. Gonna... <laughs> now, what was that? What'd you do? I was just trying to break and, and take my foot off the clutch because it it stalled out. That's all right. So uh, push the clutch and fire it back up. You can stay in gear or you can put it in neutral. Doesn't matter. Very nice. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to bring us up on the pile without stalling and keep us from rolling back. I want I want you to hold us in a slight position with clutch control. Didn't you say it's not a good habit to just hold the clutch down yeah, all the no. time? So what should I be doing? When you should be in neutral. Clock? Put it in neutral. Would hold the brake. To... Put it in neutral first. Yep. Huh? Just put it in neutral. You don't have to use the brake to put it in the neutral. There you go. All right, now press the brake and let go of the clutch, there you go, nice. Yeah, so it's not a good idea to hold the clutch in for long periods of time when you're sitting there because it puts excessive wear on the throw out bearing. Mm. And actually the crankshaft thrust bearings as well. <laughs> Gosh, you can't say that. <laughs> Dangerous spot for you. Nice. Now slowly start bringing this up on this hill, but don't snap off the clutch completely because otherwise you'll roll up too high. Keep it going. Let it climb. Keep it climbing. Keep it climbing. Don't stall it, though. Don't stall it. Keep going. Keep going. Ah! Keep, keep going. You're okay. How far up? Keep, you keep going. All right, it's probably pushing it. All right, hold on, stop. So I think what you were just doing is spinning tires because the, the bumper is hitting. She's gonna try to push this pile of stone without stalling it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you stalled it. <laughs> so the idea here is you, it's, you, you feel a difference, right? Like you gotta work that balance with the gas and the clutch to be able to try to climb up this. And, and one of two things are gonna happen. You're gonna climb up, which is fine, or it's gonna spin tires. But you stalled it is the third option and that we're not gonna have that. So fire it back up. Here, I'll hold Gus if you want. Ooh, don't run me over. You're fine. <laughs> Remember, you have a brake. The brake doesn't change. It's always the same. Do you want this down a little bit? So I want to see you either spin tires or climb up. Am I trying to climb the mountain? Like yes, or push the push the mountain. Yes. Go ahead. Keep working it. Keep going. You stole it again. 
I don't know. It might almost sound like the clutch slipped or something. Give it go a little bit harder this time. We're testing the clutch to see if it's good or not. Keep going. More clutch. More off the clutch. Beautiful. All right. All right. And you didn't stall. You see that? So she exerted maximum force till it finally spun tires. That tells us our clutch is good and you have good clutch control. She found reverse. She is a, a pro. Where are you? You're good. I got it, Gus. grinding absolute pro right here and she looks good in that truck all right guys we'll take it for a walk hold on Now this time when you go with the speed shifting, you don't want to throw this fast. Always slow with the shifter. Just give it another go. No, no slamming it because that it'll it'll grind if you do that. Starting low. Go ahead. All right, <laughs> fire back up. Come on, let's okay. go. You got traffic behind you. I do. No, no, you don't. But all right, let's let's see. Go ahead. Get us up to speed. I can't see anything. You're going, going over there. You're all clear. Nice. All right, come on, get us up. Get us up to speed. All right, next gear. Uh, yep. Woo. Beautiful. All right. Now what? Uh, now we're going to do that again. So after you do this bend, I want to see those. Remember, you're quick with the accelerator. Once you're in gear, accelerate us quick and then push the clutch in and, and go smooth with the shifter. You're, not, you're never wanting to like throw the shifter around real hard. Got it. Not really, but... Oh, go um, ahead, get us going again. Okay, okay. okay All right, okay. there's traffic behind you. Oh, no, stop. Wake me out. All right. Oops. That, that's normal. That's because it's a unsynchronized gear. So just cycle the clutch, cycle the clutch, off and on on the clutch, up. Am I in neutral? Yes. And push it down again. And now go into first. There you go. Well, I'm in low. Not That's first. what I meant, yeah. Okay. Well. All, right, all right, all right, all right. No time to think. Get us okay. going. All right, here we go. That was good. You saved yourself from stalling there. Very nice. Whew. You guys heard the engine went down and then she pressed the clutch pedal back in. All right. Perfect. Yeah. All right, stop us again. Neutral. Hmm. That's normal. That's not. Yep. And what'd you do wrong there? I didn't get us rolling. I didn't hit the gas. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you let off the clutch too quick and we weren't rolling. We stalled out. exactly what you're gonna do on the road now so let's uh let's go hit the road you're good there's nobody coming you're good really good Third. Ah. 
straight down. I thought I was straight there down. There you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Here. Just don't drive us into one of these telephone poles. Please. Now what? Not even worried. Just keep going straight. There's nobody behind you. You're completely fine. Ah, there's deer. <laughs> You're fine. Did you see them? I saw them. Yeah, you got a, a push bumper. She's reversing us out. So we turn around. You're on a little curb, just get some more more gas to get over it. You're good. I'm not going over that. Babe, what? go over the curb, would you? You're fine. It's nothing. Ah! Alright, stop. Oh, <laughs> it's Alright, first or low, low and go. Before all the traffic comes. <laughs> nope. Nope. Let go cycle the clutch. Over. Oh, you're not pressing the clutch all the way down. That's, That's the problem. as far as I can go. Yeah, it wasn't all the way down. All right, uh, so get us on out of here. Let's see some shifting. about it. You're fine. Keep us going. Get to the third. Well, All right. I'd now I want to. Now. now I want to see a downshift. So you're gonna go back to second. No, nope, but yeah. Just you never want to force this. Go ahead into second. Beautiful. All right. I keep saying beautiful. <laughs> Must have said that 20 times already. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Keep this going straight. First guess, okay. Obviously, if the seat was pulled forward more, that would have helped big time with being able to push the clutch in for her, but uh, I think something you gotta work on is, is holding the shifter. You know, you were losing grip a lot with it. And so, again, if it won't go into low, just cycle that clutch on and off, and then it, it should go, and it's okay if it clicks. But you had, you know, Good throttle control. You can shift with one finger like this as long as you you know you're not letting it, it go out of your hand. You're better off grab the whole whole thing and so you can really feel what's going on. But never force the shifter. If it grinds, you push the clutch, put it back in neutral, neutral, cycle the clutch. But you can shift. This thing shifts like butter. It's as long as you know where it's going. And that's, that's all there is to that. Eventually we're gonna get Jen shifted without the clutch, so look, my pedal won't foot won't touch the pedal. Go up, let off the gas a little bit, let the RPM drop, and then it should go right in the gear like that. When when the RPM is proper. An engine. So the goal with driving stick shift is you don't want to stall this engine out. Once you turn the key and you fire it up, this is always spinning. And when you press the gas pedal, you change the RPM or revolutions per minute of the crankshaft. And I'm going to show a little demonstration inside, but uh, come on under here. This is the transmission. In between the spinning engine and the transmission, there is a clutch, which we're going to talk more about later. And I understand this theory doesn't work for everybody, but I'm kind of showing Jen these components. This right here is the drive shaft. And that goes all the way to the differential in the back, and then the power goes perpendicular to the wheels through that differential. Okay, now let's jump into the garage. Now take those components I just showed you. This is the rear wheel, this is the differential, and this is the drive shaft coming up toward the transmission. The transmission would be mounted right here, directly connected to this drive shaft. Now this coming into the mix, this is gonna be our engine. So once you turn the key, this is on, just like that. You press, that's, let's call it, 100 RPMs per minute. Well, it doesn't matter. That's a thousand RPM. And if you press the gas, you're bringing that speed up, right? Now these two are not connected. And this is not rolling because of course, sorry about the background noise guys, but of course this is not rolling. You know, this is this tire sitting on the ground, the car is not moving, but your engine is moving. 
So if you try to just connect this spinning engine to the non-moving, watch what happens. I'm gonna put a little resistance, well watch, if I put no resistance on it, it's gonna, you hear it, it, it ratchet and then it's gonna hook and just go. Now, unfortunately that won't happen in a car because there is resistance on this tire. So I'll just put a little resistance on this and here's what's gonna happen. If you try to put it in gear without pressing the clutch, you have a spinning engine and you're trying to go, see, it's not, it's not gonna go into gear. And if it does, it's gonna jerk forward really bad. And so what we have is a clutch. And what a clutch is, is a, a friction barrier between these two that when the clutch is, when your pedals is, is off, when your foot's off the clutch, these two are directly connected together. If you crank over the engine, it's gonna spin over the wheels. That's why you can bump start an engine in a car. You can, you've ever heard that term if you're on a hill. Gus wants to come out here and barking. Uh, if you go ahead and put maximum force on you know max force on these wheels you can actually spin the engine over enough to start it when your foot's not on the clutch these two are connected when you press the clutch you break this gap so now you can start up the engine and it's running it's sitting there idling when you start to release the clutch as in bring the pedal back up and let the spring pressure take over here's what happens you start to connect these two a little bit and see there's no jerking there's no no because you have just friction taking place and as you release more, there's more and more friction until finally you let the spring pressure take over of the clutch. Of course, it doesn't want to. Well, and once your foot's off that clutch, these two are coupled together. So if you hit a hill and you don't change RPM, well, what happens is it's going to stall the engine just like that, unless you push the clutch in and break the gap between the two. So hopefully that was useful information. The point of me telling you all this is this little piece of friction material between the drive shaft or the, you know, the engine and the transmission. This is your control. You have the control to prevent the stall of the engine. And this is you working that with your left foot applying more load now we didn't get into gears but of course there's a transmission in between there and so this is what's called a one-to-one -one ratio we can't change the ratio in the rear differential and that's why we have a transmission mounted behind it to change the gear ratios behind it well i'm certainly not a professional but i think i'm gonna keep at it give it my best shot can't date somebody like Chris without knowing how to drive manual. Anyway, thanks for watching. Why are you stalking me? Come on, Turbo. Come on. <laughs>